This video is going to serve as just a very quick tip about importing a model into 3D Coats Paint Room using Micro Vertex Mode. There are some options upon import that if you're new to 3D Coat you probably want to be made aware of. So here in the splash screen you want to choose Paint Over the Model with Deep Displacement or alternatively you could choose File Import for Micro Vertex Painting. So we'll go back to the splash screen here. We'll choose that option and you have some samples that you can practice with if you like. Or select a model uh, from your hard drive. And so you have the import dialog that comes up. And this first option here is asking just how much do you want this model to be subdivided, the final output. For example, if you're wanting to sculpt this in a really high poly environment, what level of polygons would you want to utilize uh, to get the amount of detail you're after. So that's one consideration. If you remember in your host application anytime you subdivide your model you have the option to view the low poly original wireframe while simultaneously seeing the subdivided version beneath it. And so this is essentially the same thing. This is your highly subdivided amount and this is your viewport amount. And so this amount really uh, can help a little bit when you are sculpting inside the tweak room because the tweak room is actually modifying the real geometry, the viewport level geometry. Okay, so it's kind of a companion to micro vertex mode or to the paint room, I should say. And so it's really important if you want to be able to make some large scale edits with the geometry itself and not just the displacement map but with the geometry you probably want to make sure that you have enough subdivision in this viewport model. Now that's not to worry because when you finally export 3 Coat gives you the option to export the same low poly model that you imported originally. Okay, So these are just working options essentially. So it's, you're not stuck with this level of resolution when you export. Okay, so how do we determine how many polygons? Well, again, a lot of it is contingent upon just how much detail do you really want. The other thing, too, is 3D Coat recommends in micro vertex mode that you have a one-to-one -one relationship between the subdivided amount of polygons and the size of your texture map. So Basically, if you have a 2K map, 3D Coat wants you to basically have one vertice for every pixel. So you need a one-to-one -one relationship here, and that means multiplying 2K by 2K, and that gives you a 4 million polygon total. Okay. I'm not sure why the default here is at this level, because 1 million is optimal if you want a 1K map. If you want to use a 4K map, again, you just multiply 4K by 4K and come up with 16. Okay. And if you created UVs prior to this, then this is the option you want to choose. Keep clusters, just let 3D Coat kind of rearrange or flip the clusters or the islands as it sees fit, and that may not be what you want. If you don't have any UVs, you want to use auto mapping. You can always go back later and add UVs after the fact or once you're inside a 3D code. And you would do that by simply going to the UV room and modifying UVs there. So let's go back to keep UV. So yeah, we've covered the millions of polygons is highly subdivided amount, viewport amount, uh, not check weld vertices just in case there are any overlapping verts that could cause trouble. You don't have to choose that. I just do from time to time. And so, click OK, and there you go. And you can export a vector displacement map or a standard uh, displacement map. And you also have the option to export normal maps as well. Okay, so I hope that helps, and thank you for watching.